Hey, what's up guys? Clue here, coming back with a new video. Today's video playing Ziggs in the mid lane. Um, I know it's not my little three uh, champs for uh, my champion pool, but Ziggs has been a champion that I have played quite a bit. Um, it was a blind pick. I felt comfortable playing Ziggs, but we did kind of get counterpicked. We'll have to see how this one plays out in that way, though. Because... I don't think Ziggs does too well into, um, into, what's his face, Fizz. Just quickly checking, no, I, I lose, I win 48% of the games against Fizz. That's going from U.GG's statistics. Oh, I got hiccups. Um, that's really annoying. I am wondering... Does um, you me have a better win right now? As of playing it yesterday, it was like a five percent win rate. No, thirty percent win rate. So it felt like a five. Um. Farming's annoying. There we are. We're getting there. Alright, um, so she has a 33% win rate in Platinum, which probably means it's lower in Gold, I'd say. No, it's actually higher. It's a 34% win rate. So, no, people haven't really worked out how to play her yet. They're still playing her support, which is probably where she's going to stay. Her kit doesn't do much other than um, just sit on people. Do have to be careful of their jungler. Although he did take wrong runes. I just realised that. Lethal tempo is not going to be any use on him. Because his damage is off his first auto and his abilities. Just try and break him back a bit. I know it's not going to be enough, but... At least it'll be something. Uh, there, let me get the cannon. I can jump away right now because I do have my satchel now. And I'll only use my satchel to either take out turrets or get away. Same with flash. It's only going to be used to get away. I'm not going to... That's my goal for this episode is not to flash for a kill. I didn't have my mom, so. Alright. That's good, actually. I didn't realize that he's two kills down now. I'm pretty sure the reason he got the. Uh, he has a kill is because. Our Trindomir died under turret. Pretty sure how that happened. don't want to fight this. I don't have any mana. I don't have anything to be able to do anything with. So. This is just a long range farm session. Um, it's better just to stay uh, here and not... If you miss the farm, at least try and stay in range of it and get the experience because in spirit, experience matters way too much in the early game to miss. I thought I had to flash or barrier there. Um, I, I am watching here because I feel like he may be looking for the kill. He's not level 6. He's not even level 5, so... Couldn't use his ult on me, which is good. That's not good, bot side. That was a gank, though, yeah. It's just... She's solo laning. That's, that's kind of the issue with Yumi, is it's a solo lane. He's using uh, the same build that Rusty uses. Um, Rusty the caster, he's one of the commentators for League. Um, he used to be the, one of the LPL casters. Or commentators, I don't know how people say it. 
But yeah, he's running Guardian right now with no flash. Which no one no one seems to be taking flash on her, which is a mistake that I made last episode. Um It was kinda of big I didn't know what I was doing honestly. Um but hell she's a fun champ. She's just not a good one. Well not yet. No one's found how to make her good. Alright, now top's getting a little bit emotional. Hopefully not too many more kills go over. Oh, hopefully no more kills actually. They're doing infernal, I'd say. That's what I'm assuming. No. Fizz is missing, that's why I'm... I'm very worried. I'm just gonna ward here. Because I don't want the Infernal to go over, not to their team at all. They've got no tank, they're just full... Not full glass cannon, but very high damage. Whereas we at least have a tank. So they get more value out of their Infernal than they would. Alright, don't do anything stupid. Be careful of his ult, because that's, that's what he's looking to do, I'd say. Um, he is not looking too great, our top side, but I think it was the Zerath game. I can't remember. It probably was the Zerath game. It was the game that we had. Um, turned me up, pop off. He had a really bad laning phase, but we just were able to scale. And very similar to this game, if we can scale, then... And scale, but also play correctly, we'll win. Because if we scale and the Fizz just gets onto our squishies, we lose. Because Fizz does do quite well later on. I shouldn't have done that. Right. Shouldn't have done that, but it still worked out alright. Oh no, that's unlucky. That's a flash used and a mistake committed. Um, I'm just gonna get a control ward. They're doing, yeah, they're doing it. Cause I'm not there to stop the Sajuani show top. It was gone anyways. That's not good. Not good at all. Um, they are a very snowball team. Uh, yeah, team. So. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but it's very easy for it to happen. Like, Fizz, if he gets too many kills. That's why I, I did use all my abilities. I didn't need, like, I probably shouldn't have, but I just didn't want him getting any kills, especially early on. Also, why I'm playing so safe, and it's hurting me. But also, hopefully, saving us for the late game. Oh, yeah. You're joking. Getting that kill. That's sad. That ignite just just made him live. Kind of expected that pathing. I saw that he was missing in the lane, so he had to be. He almost certainly had to be coming up towards us. I'm not gonna walk through here either, cause I don't know if he has vision anywhere there. Yeah, he must be down to single digits at that point. Right, I tried to do a bit more damage. Wait, how did how does she not have ult if she's level What? She didn't level the ultimate when she turned level six. 
Uh, okay, that makes sense why that was a weird fight. Uh, Sejuani didn't have ult. Now she has it. This will almost certainly be a, um, it'll almost certainly be a game where I have to get Zonya's just because he is going to be a pain, a really big pain for me. And if I do get later on, it's going to be just, can I live if I can and can I hit my abilities? But if, if I do hit my abilities and live, then 100% I can dish out the good, like the good damages. Alright, now we're back. Um, still 5-3. My lane's still kind of a mess. Let's blow this joint. Let them know that my lane's missing. Yumi's very, very uh, in danger. Like, what's the correct phrase there? She's she's in danger there. I s yeah. Impatient. I'm not impatient. Oh, that was bad. Not a fight you want, just leave it and walk away. Ah, he already has Hextech. Um, how is he going there? Ah, oh, jeez, he's got Dunk. I still have to be careful of the fish. So I'm sitting quite far back. I'm just using spells to farm. Not the most efficient method, but it's the safest method. That's sucky. Should be able to Okay, she's not gonna hit the back of it? Alright, fair enough. She never hit the eye. She probably would have killed it and kept the turret. Just 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 kept the turret, not like kept it on full health. It would have probably still lived a little bit longer, but yeah, it should have been done. It's really annoying that I'm seeing the Yumi um imagery instead of actually who he's on or who, who's she on i think it's she magical cat jeez bot's really struggling it's a it's a 1v2 lane that's why and that's kind of why the champ doesn't work as a like idea because you have to be kind of really oh no i don't know i feel like you have to be confident that you can lane by yourself if they're going to play that. I was really lucky that I did that. That was kind of an accident there. Like, I'm not going to say that it was all intentional because sure as hell it wasn't. Um, I'm really behind on the farm. Again, they're really eager to try and get this line down.
It was just a bad spot for me to be for that fight, that's for sure. I would have rather the fight happen in the river. I got my loot in, so that should mean I'm able to actually start doing something, which would be nice instead of chilling out, sleeping. Bot tower's gone. It's not even worth me roaming down there right now, like walking it. Hey, my Yumi build is actually correct. Athene's Brutes I didn't get Brutes of Lucidity. I, I, I don't remember what I won actually. Actually, no, I didn't buy Brutes because I thought it was the most useless thing ever. I'm using another person's movement speed while to buy Brutes. Um, actually, I've, I've also heard that that's a build that uh, I think Zyrene, another commentator, has been using. I barriered his whole um, ult there. I'm gonna continue here. There's no point in sending us all top. Mm. He, uh, that's a lost fight there. That's not good. What? I don't know why they even tried that fight, but whatever. He was already doing well. This jinx. Oh my that was a really good flash. I have flash. I don't know what the jinx is doing though. Uh, her going top gave another kill over, like, oh my god, and this Yumi. She's the lowest base health in the game. Technically, no, Kled has the lowest health, but Kled also has Scar. She don't. She's by herself to die. I learned that playing her. She's actually really, really weird. That was a flash. She's dead. Nope. I don't know what happened with our Sedge. Our top lane died to their ADC. This game's over, I'd say. Just to go next at this point. Um, Cause yeah, looking at the way this game's going, they're, they're already double our kills and they're a snowball to comp. We haven't taken really a We took tar top turret just then, I'm pretty sure. Um. No, nah, it doesn't say. An Yumi was still staying. Okay. I'm going, I'm going. Yumi can't be by herself. That's just, just plain and simple. If Yumi's by herself, she dies. Her Q does nothing by herself. Her E heals herself the smallest amount ever.
Jinx has no damage. Oh no, Jinx is building wrong. If you're behind, please don't go Zeal, BF, and then Pickaxe. Focus on one item, get the item done, and go to the next one. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your, like everything about it. At least Trindamir is splitting. It's, a good, it's good that he's at least farming. How they didn't die there was actually a bit, quite crazy. I even think they can group because Trindamir can't. Trindamir is not a grouping champ. Jinx needs to farm. She's zero seven. That's probably a bad spot for back. Actually, I should be fine. Ooh. Outscaling easy might be a, a long shot, but we can outscale. It's not an easy outscale though. Um, okay, this guy's actually won games of Yumi. I'm surprised actually anyone's won a game on Yumi. An enemy is legendary. Uh, their bot lane's a duo, so that does make sense that our bot lane did get dumpstered, but probably not. I wonder. Is he... Is Yumi suppressed when I do that? I never thought about that, but it might be. I took the tower and did damage. I didn't, I've, I didn't completely see that and I didn't notice. I thought that was my teammate. That's a really bad thing to have happen. I honestly was like, oh yeah, cool, Jarvan's coming, you know, to help us. Ah, nope. I thought that was our teammate. Um... I might get a, um... Yeah. Just... I don't know who's... Who, where she's better to go on. I've seen people say go on the tanks, but then, like, you go on the tanks and if the tank dies, you die. I've heard go on the uh, ADC or... I, one of the damage dealers because uh, you you increase that damage. If she's on Vega, I'm pretty sure you get like a hundred. Uh, you get quite a bit more AP. I've seen that they broke the world record. So, yeah. Jinx get out. Yumi doesn't.
Jinx is bot. Jinx split way too far. Your has been One eight. That's 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 where we lost the game. It was it was just the the bot side. Um. Your inhibitor has been destroyed. Holy crap! This Javan has 188 games on him. That's why he was able to land that um uh, that combo that he did. The QE flash. Cause that was really cool. I'd never seen it actually happen. Like in my game. I've seen it in pro play. It's clearing the game more so than anything. Oh no. Um, Yumi lived with me. So pretty much I was the only one that lived. Because the only way Yumi was gonna die is if everyone else died. Or if she got caught in a bad position. Um, Baron does become a tree threat now. Though. Phone just turned on. Okay, for reason. That's weird. Um, what do I even get now? I can't think of. I think it's probably just straight damage now. Yeah. I've now got the survivability. What do you mean? This doesn't look safe. Huh? Space bar. That's what my um this key is. It's my space bar key. Just. So I can use um, a lot of my like my items more so than anything. Such a big key to get to. It's, that's my reasoning. Everyone's probably gonna have a different key they use because they find it easier to use. Like with Oriana, I use the Alt um, Alt E, and the only reason for that is because I find it easier. That's game. That was a really bad game, honestly. 110. That's just abysmal. I can't even see, like, why. Why anyone would get put to this? Like, why I got put to this team? She's a Jinx lover. She's played 24 games of Jinx with a 50% win rate. That is kind of scary that she's played a fair bit of Jinx and didn't know what to do when she was behind. I do get why she was behind, but more so I don't get what, why she didn't know what to do when she was behind. I'm going to give it to the Trindamir. He tried his best to continue uh, staying ahead. <coughs> ah. oh, I didn't swap over, I just realised. Um, so yeah, the trend made, he continuously tried to do his best, um, would have been the Sejuani, but also, I just liked the trend me a bit more. Damage wise, I did alright, um, I stayed well and truly ahead of my lane opponent, I, I did my best to keep him out of the game for as long as I could, and that worked, but it was just our bot lane was... They got our bot lane out of the game before, or too early. That yeah. I I just think Yumi's probably either you see her if you see her on a, on your team, get the hell out. Don't 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 risk it. It's 
it's currently not good. Maybe next patch, maybe they do some... I know there is a patch coming um, soon to boost her damage and all that. Maybe it's actually come through. Actually, I'm just going to quickly check. We'll have a quick look at patch notes. Maybe the mid-patch, yeah, okay. They have, they have placed some buffs on her, but it's still not really doing much. She has a good potential. It's just she doesn't have the numbers. That heal is really, really low. 0.1%. Oh, plus 0.1 ability power. So, I think Ziggs' is ult is like a 0.9. What it should be is probably like a 0.5. Because what? If she... With her build, she's going... Ardent, which is like 30 AP. Actually, do I have... Quickly just do some theory crafting here. Uh, items, yep. Oh, sure, let's click this. Click that. Alright, so her normal build is. There you are. Um, wait, why is that? I only want this one. Oh well. Uh, so support items. Um, she goes ardent. Which, okay, she gets this. Which the stats are no AP on there. Then Athene's 30 AP, so that's only 15 extra healing. And 60, which is another 30. Point 0.5 would be a way better number. But maybe they don't want her to start building full AP. I don't know. Because if you start building, like, rabbit on and all that, then, then it does get a little bit out of control. I get that. Um, they reduce the damage on her ult as well. Uh, you get multi-hit reduced damage. 40%. Is it 40% re reduced damage or 50% reduced damage? I don't know. I don't actually know the champion well enough to be able to make an idea on that one. But, yeah, she's, she's certainly got issues... And hopefully they can find a good spot for her because she is a really, really fun champ. Just like Rakan was until they destroyed him. But, yeah. A little disappointed that it, was, it wasn't it was on to me that how he lost. But that's just the flow of the game. Uh, honestly, there are some issues with the balancing kind of side of the team. Considering... What, she had two weeks in practice. She would have had more time in-house. Like, there was enough time for them to realise, oh, her kit does a lot of nothing. She does a lot of things. Like, she's got CC on her ult, a slow on her Q, uh, some healing, the ability to go immune most of the time. That all sounds really cool, but she does none of it well. Well, actually, no, she does, she does go invulnerable well. If her team works together well. Maybe it gets played in pro play. I don't know. I haven't actually seen the pros play it. Um, statistically, I'm not even sure how well they go. I can probably have a look, actually. If I go here and then go into challenger. 29% win rate. So they're doing probably worse. Well, they are technically doing worse. So, yeah. It, it's still solo queue. Um, we won't see it in pro play for MSI, that's for sure, and I think not for another, like, I think it's probably three weeks, four weeks until um, uh, the regional areas are back on, so LLCS, um, LEC, I don't know about the um, Chinese and Korean, and I don't know about it, my region OPL, so yeah. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button if you didn't more like them, hit like button if you like if you want to catch any more of my content, hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time.